The skills we've described so far have not really explained how you might mark up your images. Um, this is actually quite important, we think, in educational settings. For example, you might want to take a picture you have and point out some important feature that's displayed in this, in this picture. This, this ability to work with and modify and mark up images uh, is in keeping with the idea that you can use imagery to explore ideas and communicate ideas, uh, and it's, it's more than just look, looking at pictures. The capacity to mark up images is really not available, at least as far as we know, in Picasso, uh, but we can demonstrate how you might do that uh, in, in Google Docs. And uh, in particular, what we are talking about what's called a drawing. So I'm going to, first of all, just come into Google Docs here, create a drawing. And what I'm going to do is work with an image since it lets me enter something here. Work with an image of a uh, stonefly larva. Of course, I'm not going to draw this image. What I'm going to do is uh, um, bring in one that I happen to have and we've used before in some of our other demonstrations. Uh, I want to load it from my desktop and now I'm actually sending this image from my computer um, up into the cloud into Google Docs and I'm loading it into the drawing I created. You can see here it's a nice quality image and I actually want to expand it as much as I can within the space that I'm given. If it'll let me here. There, that should be good. All right, so here we have uh, several stone st stonefly larvae I guess and um, I happen to know uh, some things about the anatomy uh, and that may be what I want to communicate so a very uh, simple uh, distinction would be the head the thorax and the abdomen and let's say I just want to demonstrate for you or show you um, the location of the of the thorax so the first thing I might want to do is to uh, identify that section and maybe to do that I can add a shape and I can just pretty much identify that section now of course now you can't see anything so that's a problem um, what I want to do here is come into fill color and I don't want any fill color so I want that transparent and I know from experience that actually um, I am going to make this more visible by increasing the line weight and perhaps I change the line color so it stands out more red so so how's that now um, maybe another thing I can do is to add a second shape and you often see this done to kind of designate a particular part of an image. I'm going to draw a little arrow here and again I can add or modify features of that arrow um, but that should be good enough. And then finally, I'm going to add a little text box, I hope, in which I provide a label. I suppose it doesn't really matter if I overlap a lot. So this is the thorax. Now that's not very helpful, it's too small, so I can make it larger, a little too large, I think if I expand it a bit it'll fit, maybe a little more, 
and I also know that I may want to bold it there so uh, you know I've now added these items to you can see I could go on and on but I don't hope that isn't necessary to identify other features here there, that's maybe better um, this now is is saved in Google Docs as a drawing but what I really probably want to do is to download this uh, back to my computer and I'm doing that under the file download as we'll turn it into a JPEG and it should be now on its way to me and I can go into my download folder and I should have my marked up image there you go so that's uh, what it actually looks like now uh, when converted into a JPEG so so what are we doing here we're taking an image um, we collect it with a camera uh, we want to mark it up to indicate the parts of the uh, insects dis displayed to do that we're using Google Docs and the drawing program we open a drawing we insert an image and then we add these items the text box the arrow the you know clear box transparent box uh, to indicate the part of the image we're interested in so this is marking up an image in the Google Docs drawing program 